I'd say the two most important years for math are probably second grade and sixth grade. It's helpful as a teacher if we can start to be really clear about developmentally, where is the child at? I see this as the first main lesson of the year because it's a very nice way to bring the sixth graders into form. How can we accomplish these tasks only with these two tools? I love this quote. Math is not a language, it's an adventure. Why am I calling this nines magic? Because there's a lot to do with nines here. What did you notice? They all equal 18. That was a surprise to me. And that's what made this lesson one of the best lessons of the year. Here's the 11s trick. For sixth graders, just showing that there's a pattern. So why is that an exception? Do you see what we're doing here? This is math. For a lot of sixth graders, what they really love is just do this. Multiply nine times seven, what do you get? 63, that's the 63, I should probably do that in color. And then, put the other two nines in between. When you come to me, you have to be confident that you know the strategy, and if you make a mistake, you will lose. If you're a retailer, you, you purchase a bicycle for a certain cost and you sell it for a greater cost, and this is what, this is the essence of your business. Well, what is a bank doing? Well, a bank, they're buying and selling money. Is it clear to you all that it's gotta be less than one? We should all be comfortable, as well as our students, with having big questions in our mind that we don't know the answers to yet, and we're thinking about. It.